The Build Show today, we're talking metal roofing. Now behind me, that looks like a shingle roof. It looks like it could be slate. But in fact, what you're looking at is this panel right here. This is a metal shingle. All the benefits of a steel roof, a metal roof, the longevity, the durability, but the easy install. Today's video is sponsored by Edco. Let's get going. All right, guys, whether you're building a house in the south or the north, you know if you watch my videos, I'm a huge fan of steel. There's so many reasons to like steel for a roof, but the number one reason for me is longevity. That's why I put a steel roof on my house, and it's really what I put on most of the houses I've built here in Austin, Texas over the last 15 years. I wanna put a product on a house that's not gonna get damaged, that's not gonna need to be replaced, and this certainly fits in this category. This is a steel shingle. So believe it or not, what you're looking at here, even though it looks like slate on the roof, installs a lot like an asphalt shingle. You've got a nail pattern, you've got these tabs that are gonna fit in right here, and then it's got a, uh, a slot on the side. Let me show you how this fits in. Let's put two of them down as if this one was down. And it's gonna install right to left, and you see it's gonna clip in right there, and now it's gonna hold on that side and we're gonna nail it down. Now, believe it or not, you're gonna get a huge wind load ability on this as well. These shingles are rated up to 160 miles an hour and they've got a lifetime warranty. So just like all their forms of metal that I've used, hail, all those other things that mother nature is gonna throw on that, this roof is gonna survive. It's, it's gonna absolutely take the elements without problems. Something else that I wanted to mention that I've talked about a lot with metal roofs and that's sustainability. Here's a couple scraps from the crew that's installing here. You know, metal, totally recyclable. In fact, Edco tells me this is like 30% or so recycled content to begin with. But one of the things I love about all types of metal roofs is when this roof does get to its end of its life, right? When my grandchildren are here to remodel this house someday and this gets pulled off to get replaced, it'll probably be for aesthetic reasons, not, perf not for performance but this is valuable. This metal can absolutely go in the recycle can. And in fact, in today's dollars, this is really expensive. And I suspect a hundred years from now will even be more expensive. So it won't go in the dumpster. This will get recycled into another metal roof. That's pretty cool. Now here's a couple benefits of shingles though, in my mind, compared to some of the other steel roofs that I've talked about. I think the big benefit is ease of install. The crew that's doing this roof for me is a crew that does some asphalt shingles and does metal shingles. And it's really not a lot of specialized tools needed for this type of install. The Edco shingles come in a box. You're gonna slide this clip on, the shingle clip, and then they're gonna nail up just like a standard roof. There's really nothing special needed. We don't need a roller machine out front. We don't need all kinds of bending equipment. It's pretty straightforward. So a roofing crew that's used to doing regular shingles can easily make the switch to doing one of these. Now, on this particular roof, we're going for the slate roof kind of look, but they've got all kinds of options in the Edco catalog. You could uh, get a roof that looks like a clay tile roof. You could get one that really looks more like a shingle roof that's a little bit more plain. There's all kinds of options out there. And we're even gonna be doing some steel siding on this house as well. We've got a board and batten look, so stay tuned for that in future videos or on our social media. The thing about this roof though that I really like is the lifetime warranty. I mean, this roof literally is gonna be a roof that's gonna be on your house 50, 75, maybe even 100 plus years from now. And that's a really big deal. Shingle roofs, when you put a standard asphalt shingle roof, it's only a matter of time before those are gonna get either damaged by the sun or you're gonna have a hailstorm or some other storm that's gonna blow those off. These, on the other hand, once you put this down, you're done. Now you are gonna pay more for this roof, right? You know, this compared to a nice architectural three tab, you're probably gonna pay two point something-ish more than for one of those roofs, but this is absolutely gonna last so much longer than any of the other kind of normal shingle roofs that you're gonna put on your house, whether it's wood or asphalt, this is gonna take the elements. Now, a couple other things I wanna mention on this roof, they've got all the uh, elements totally thought through. So here's your ridge cap. This also has that same uh, kind of uh, slot method to hold these in place. So when these go together, they're gonna, uh, let's see, am I doing this right? There we go. They're gonna hook together and that's gonna hold your ridge on. And then they've got all the other accessories needed for flashings as well. You're gonna notice that we've got 
a rake flashing here. And then on the back side of the house, we didn't quite finish this install yet because we've got to get our masonry on the chimney. So we're almost done on this. But you need to think ahead a little bit on this install because this installs left to right. And so on the top where we're missing some shingles, it's because that flashing isn't on on the chimney and we can't complete that row until that flashing's on and until that masonry's on. So you got to think about your uh, process of installing this roof a little bit. You're also going to notice on this house that we did a full peel and stick underlayment. That's not a requirement, but that's something that I highly recommend. A sealed roof deck uh, with zip system sheathing is a great way to go. And of course, if you're in the snowy north, you got to use your ice and water shield at your eaves, at your valleys, all those places that ice could back up. But even better in my mind, especially when we're putting a shingle down that's gonna last for a century, is that full peel and stick. So in this particular house, we're using the zip system sheathing. We did their uh, zip system peel and stick. Now I've got a, a true warrantied system. And if I had some ridiculous storm that blew roofs off in the neighborhood, I'd have that sealed roof deck, which is part of the fortified roof program. That's that's definitely the way to go in my mind if you're going to put a roof on that's going to last a long, long time like the steel shingle. Another thing I want to mention on this roof and this steel shingle is fire resistance. This is going to be a class A fire rated roof. So if you're anywhere where wildfires are concerned for you, you're building in a uh, wildfire urban interface zone, you're building in California or any of the states that have had wildfires, this is a fantastic roof choice because sparks and embers are not gonna do anything to this roof. This is gonna be a way better choice than so many other roofs. Uh, class A rating too, which means you're gonna get a break on your insurance. Now guys, if you wanna learn more about this, I'll put a link to the Edco website below. As I mentioned earlier, a ton of different options, colors, varieties, but they're all gonna be in this same flavor. This is a 28 gauge galvanized steel. They look amazing. And I would tell you that they actually, in my mind, look better from the street than they do right up close. If you get up really tight on some of these shingles, they feel a little bit like you can see the differences, like if you kind of see that black line here. But when you get it on the roof, believe it or not, this is the same panel that's on the roof. You step back a few feet, man, that's incredible. You would not know, in effect, I think most people walking down the street don't realize that that's not a slate roof, but this is way less expensive and way less the weight. If you saw some other videos in this house under construction, this is a standard truss roof, nothing special. We were really trying to uh, go as budget friendly as we could on the roof framing. And as a result, this roof here actually probably weighs less than an asphalt shingle roof. So no issues with beefing it up. Had we done a true slate roof, it would have been several X the cost, but also that weight would have been a really big deal with us. We would have probably had to change our roof structure on this house. Anyways, guys, thanks for Edco for sponsoring today's video. I'll put a link to those guys below. If you're not currently a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. You know, we've got new content here every Tuesday and every Friday. Follow us on TikTok or Instagram. Otherwise, we'll see you next time on The Build Show.